Hello everyone, New Hampshire Hobby Logger here, and it's the uh, 8th of June, and we got another project we're going to start off. Uh, what you're looking at is a, uh, an electric smoker that we picked up there uh, a week or so, a couple weeks ago now, and we've been uh, testing it out a little bit. It doesn't do real well in the shop. I got too much stuff going on here all the time, and it's going to get wrecked, but I can't have it out in the weather. Uh, because it's uh, electric and if it rains it's going to get all messed up so we're going to have to build an enclosure for it and I've been talking to a few of the guys there about smokers and this that and the other and before I got this um, little puppy here I was going to build a smokehouse with an offset uh, firebox and all the good stuff there but uh, I saw this thing I've got uh, uh, a neighbor down the road's got one and boy he really likes it a lot so we went and picked one up it's all digital controlled temperature and time it's got a meat probe in it and I have used it a couple of times it's uh, really a pretty nice rig Ooh, you open the door and you can smell it it's nice but anyhow you can put the uh, wood chips in this little side guy right here Pull that out and you put the wood chips right in, right in that. Then you slide them in after she's up to temperature. And you give it a little turn to rotate the wood down into the, into the heat chamber. So, anyhow, we got to get it out of the barn. So I had an idea that I was going to take that up to the deck and build a regular smokehouse out of uh, one nice big log I... Uh, took down from my neighbor there, a big pine tree, and uh, I got the logs out of it, and there's some dandies. I was going to share it with my uh, other neighbor, because his barn went down in the heavy snows a couple of years ago, and uh, so he needs some lumber to rebuild and whatnot, so I figured I'd share that log, or that tree with him, but I'm going to sell out some of it for the for my, uh, my share of it. So I'm going to run you up here to where we're gonna put this thing now during the summertime we about live on the out on the back deck here and uh, it's gonna be a very nice addition to our our uh, cuisine now, how do you like that for a big fancy word so anyhow this is the uh, our regular cooker right here our barbecue grill and this was made in Texas this was made in Texas by an oil refinery guy. Oop, there goes the, uh, and made out of oil pipe. And as you can see, that does a pretty nice, pretty nice job of doing everything. It's a smoker. It's a grill. It it accomplishes quite a bit of stuff. But you know, diversity. That's the the answer. So we got the little. Or the pond here with the little fishies in there and the waterfall we like it out here but anyhow I'm gonna put that other smoker and a smokehouse right in this slot here so we might have to move our gas station light maybe build right into it I don't know but we're gonna put the uh, smoker right there so it's going to have the smokehouse it's going to come out onto the out onto that uh, black granite uh, as the base we're going to build it up over to it so I've got some um, fire brick down at the down in the barns so we're going to build a good fire brick base we're going to have an offset um, firebox probably right in here the corner and it'll go through a pipe and up into the little smokehouse so in the, I'll be able to use that as a separate smoker or I'll be able to wheel in that electric one right inside to keep it out of the out of the weather so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down and saw out the lumber that we're gonna use to build that and it's been a, a regular typical dog and pony show today uh, you got to do six things before you yeah you, you can even start one project so I had two trucks in the way and they both needed firewood put in them for the for the folks delivering tomorrow. So uh, had to get that done first. And of course the sawmill didn't want to start. And uh, so we got, that truck's all loaded up with firewood. That's ready to go. 
And uh, so we're going to run down and get that sawmill going. I did get it started finally. I had to take the carburetor all apart. You know, folks, we're getting schmoozed right over by this gasoline stuff. It's wrecking more small engines and making life real difficult for guys that want to work. And you got to fiddle around with this stuff. You leave it in there longer in a couple of weeks and it just goes bad. And that nice ethanol they keep putting in there just sucks all the moisture right out of the whole northeast and puts it right into that carburetor. Well, thank God for bounty towels, because that'll suck out most of that water that accumulated in there. So anyhow, let's go down. Oh, there's the rest. Let me show you the rest of those logs that came out of that thing. And that was a... Well, that's a pretty nice, pretty nice pine log. And that thing is going to measure the butt end. That's a 12-foot log. And that's going to measure... About 26 inches. Well, let's go inside the bark and we're running 24 and a half. So that's a, that's a nice log. So we got four, four logs out of it, actually five. And that's, uh, we're gonna call that, we'll do it on the short side there. No, oh, I've got 30 inches right there. Well, I, that's with the swell. So, part of the problem is the carriage on the little bandsaw mill can only take uh, so much before it starts to hang over, and then the carriage won't go over the top of it with the with the bandsaw. So I got one one side slabbed off earlier, and um, now I can't turn it. It got stuck on the on the uh, dogs and it's just too heavy for me to pick up so we're going to incorporate a little help from our log truck and we're going to tip that thing it won't sit all the way flat on the log won't sit flat on the uh, on the ways there because uh, uh, the dogs get in the way and stuff so i'm going to have to turn it up on its quarter uh, from the flat and put the flat side against the, the ways there and then we'll uh, Take a take a slab off of the top and that'll do it on two sides and then it should be able to fit down on the and I'll show you what happened here. Not a big issue, but it just takes time. So hang on. You can see right here that the dog caught right in the log and I can't turn it now. In fact it was in there quite a bit further. I had lowered the the standoffs here on both ends to see if I could slide it over and get it off that, but it's just too, too much. And I've got uh, uh, 25 inches on this thing anyhow. So yeah, I think 24 is about the, the limit. Well, I've sawn bigger, but that's that's what we got to do. See, so if you look down the line there, carriage won't quite pass pass beside that. So um, I got to tip it up. So I'm going to have to take the log off of the uh, off of the carriage for a minute, put the the stands up back in place, and then pick that thing up to it. So there's our little sawmill. It's a does all right. It you know if you're really into it for accuracy, forget it. Get something else. But um, you know for what I need around here, hit and miss, thick and thin, uh, it'll do all right. So. I'm going to shut this down for a minute, uh, go fire the log truck up, and we'll get this thing turned. And I, I will leave that on there. Hey, baby. Hey, look who we got. We got Jesse, and we got Mama. There she is. Maybe I have somebody run the camera. But anyhow, oh, be back in a minute. 